Hey guys, welcome back, I'm Dr. Deuce and today we're gonna to be looking at something that affects many of us who use laptops plus an additional large screen or maybe you've got a studio like mine where I'm using a big screen above my desk and I sit quite a distance away from the screen. Okay, the tip I'm gonna show you today is real simple but it's gonna make a big difference when you're working especially with third party plugins which don't have a visual zoom function to enable you to make the plugin larger and more visible. Okay, let's get into it. So as you can see right here, this is the screen I use when I'm generally composing, beat making, and this is the screen I use above my desk when I'm mixing. Now, one of the great things about Logic's native plugins is that you are able to adjust the size of the plugin. You can double the size by zooming in by different percentages, or in fact, zooming out just to create space on the screen. However, sometimes you're faced with a situation where you're using third-party plugins, for example, plugins from the Wave Suite or the Isotope plugins, which I really do enjoy using. And now if I'm sitting a bit of a distance away from my screen, it's sometimes difficult to see the detail of the parameters that I want to adjust, as you can see right here. Now there's a quick way of dealing with this to make it possible to be able to zoom in and zoom out on a Mac computer to allow you to be able to function and not squint your eyes and strain your sight in order to be able to see that detail, okay? So let me show you real quick how you set this up so that your workflow can be improved. Okay, so right here we're in Logic Pro X and this is one of the Logic's stock compressors. And in terms of being able to view or zoom, we're able to change this. Let's go to 100%. And this is what the plugin will look like at 100%. Um, I could go even bigger, uh, 125 for example. Okay. And you know, that's quite a flexible option to have um, in Logic when you're working in your door. Um, same with the EQ, channel EQ here. If I go to 100% here, this is what I'd get. And it just allows me a bit more flexibility um, when I'm adjusting parameters. And if I'm working on a very small screen, for example, or my screen is um, a bit further away, it just helps to be able to see what I'm doing and to make my adjustments. Okay, so right here, I'm looking at the Isotope Nectar 2 plugin, which is one of my favorite vocal plugin suites. Um, now, as you can see up here, it's slightly different on the Logic plugin, which is, this is the channel EQ, you have this option, the view option, where you can change the percentage zoom. Whereas on this one, that's not an option. The zoom option is not available. So if I wanted to get in closer, maybe I haven't got my glasses with me, or again, like I said, the screen's really small. How do I get in closer? Well, it's quite simple. Look at this. Okay, and I'll just move a mouse down and look all the way in. So I'm using command option plus to zoom in like so, command option minus to zoom out. I'll show you how we set that up in a minute, okay? And this is really, really handy. And if I wanna go back to uh, my normal zoom, it's command option eight, number eight, okay? Now the same principle applies here in Pro Tools. I'm using a Dynamics compressor right here. And let's say, for example, I couldn't see the frequency reading here again, Command Option Plus to go in, okay? And Command Option Minus to come back out. And if I move my mouse this way, I can scroll the screen this way. And if I move my mouse this way, you know, I can move the screen up, down, left and right, okay? Really handy uh, tool. And again, to zoom out, it's command option number eight. And now we're in Ableton Live. And again, the same principle applies. If I want to zoom in to look at these parameters down here or make adjustments, again, it's command option plus. Let's move down a touch. Um, I can get into the fade. I can have better control over all of these parameters. You, you can see here, you, and you can see more clearly um, what the adjustments are in terms of the readouts. I mean, imagine working uh, on a, a screen that's a fair distance away from you and um, that's sitting over your mixing console. Um, and you know, it, it is always gonna be a challenge looking at these very small readouts. And finally, let's say for example, using one of the Waves channel strips. Again, it is a bit of a struggle seeing the parameters here. I'm using a laptop right now. I'm gonna zoom in and now I'm much closer, it's easier to make my adjustments 
you know, really fine adjustments. Move up, all I need to do is move my mouse up to the top of the screen and the display automatically adjusts. Okay, and when I'm done, command option number eight, and boom, right back to normal. So now I'm gonna show you how you set this up. So open up your system preferences window on your Mac and you wanna look for accessibility. Now you select accessibility and then you go to zoom. This option might well be disabled. You wanna have this enabled and that's it. That's all you need. What I would do as well is maybe do a screen grab of these keyboard shortcuts, which you might wanna just print out or save somewhere on your desktop so you can easily remember what the shortcuts are for zooming in, out, and to toggle your zoom position. You can, of course, enable this function as well and have a mess about with that. And you can choose this one as well. But for me, this is enough, okay? And once you've enabled that, it's command option plus, minus, or number eight. There you go. Okay, great. Now, hopefully that's gonna have a positive impact on your workflow. Don't forget, if you found the video useful, share it with others. Do remember to leave me a comment and just like the rest of the MTTC squad, remember to switch on your notification for more videos when they drop. As always, I'll be back real soon. I'm Dr. Deuce, peace.